some years ago and uh, got a great welcome so it's nice to be back. Um, just a few thank yous. Uh, I'd like to thank um, first of all my amazing actors, uh, one of whom is here tonight, Laura Linney. Laura. <laughs> and uh, I could say a lot about Laura but perhaps that will be later. Um, <laughs> I'd also like to thank uh, Sony Classics, uh, who uh, were who fell for this film, is, from what I can see, in a very big way, and have been incredibly helpful in, in getting it uh, to the stage. Um, we had uh, lots of technical comments from them, uh, lots of creative comments from them, and they were all incredibly wise. So thank you, gentlemen, uh, for that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a few cast and crew uh, here this evening, uh, a few more cast, I should say. Uh, some have come from Ar Ireland, some are working here. And uh, I'd like to thank them, of course, uh, for creating such a um, beautiful looking film, if I may say it myself. <laughs> um, and uh, so, thank you all again for coming and uh, enjoy the film. Welcome to the stage, the director, Mr. Thaddeus O'Sullivan. And he's coming to the film, Mr. Martin Lenny. Is that working? 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no. 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 It's it's a group effort, like all the way around. So you try and and you know you have ideas, and then you try to execute the ideas in the way that helps move the, the story forward. It helps you know the relationships deepen, um, and you just you know you you try to take what everyone has to give you. I mean, there's so many people who went into making this movie, and there was so much talent that we were surrounded by. Our amazing DP is here. You know, our costume design, the designers were all remarkable. And, you know, they all help you. They all give you a piece of themselves, and then you get to ingest it and then hopefully turn it into something that's, worth, our, that's worth their talent. And we have our, our writers here as well, of course. Oh, yeah. Yay! undertaking than other films, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, Josh Moore will be the one to talk about that. Uh, but it, it uh, well, Jimmy Smallhorn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> decided he wanted to make this film when he was 12, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and uh, probably bored the pants off everybody for the next 30 years. Um, uh, making sure that they uh, they understood what he wanted to do and uh, go make it. But a number of people were involved over the years, uh, including myself, some time ago, and it came back to me via um, uh, one of the other writers, um, Tim Brager, and uh, I was glad to get involved again. Any audience questions? Right here. Ma'am, go ahead. Oh, you first, sure. Wow. Um, <laughs> great. So um, I was really curious, this is I guess for both of you, how you approach the bathtub scenes because <laughs> very little is said and it's kind of a moment of realization and reflection for all the characters. Um, so yeah, I was just curious like, how much of that is on the page versus how much of it is on Really wondering a lot of what you were thinking about. The, the bathtub scenes. Well, I gave Thaddeus three choices. <laughs> I played it three completely different ways, knowing not knowing where the story was going to go, knowing that when he got in the editing room, he would need choices, and you know because you make all this stuff, and then he has to go put the pieces together, and sometimes things go in unexpected directions. So I wanted him to have, the, you know, the three different options that I gave him. One was very emotional. One was very neutral and one was a little more, you know, spiritual. So, and then he chose the neutral one. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, it was interesting because the bath scenes came very late. Uh, for the last day, I think. In, in the shooting, mm -hmm. and then we knew the scenes were going to be in the bath. Uh, we knew we were going to use the, the bath, because we built them and put the water in them. Uh, but the, the script for the bath was always uh, in, in a state of flux, uh, and uh, both um, um, Maggie and um, everybody got the script quite late at, uh, for, for those for those scenes. So it was. I'm still apologising for it, <laughs> but uh, it was it um, it worked very well because. Uh, the actors had accumulated quite a lot um, before that, and they had a very uh, strong idea of where they were in the character. And uh, Laura, as an actor, do you, is that how you approach all of your scenes, as you give your, the director multiple? No, not always, but there, there are those scenes that I feel are watershed moments, and I just want to make sure that a director has the, the chance and the opportunity to tell the story they want to tell. You know, and and... You, can't, you can think you know where it's gonna go, but you just wanna make sure that they have. So there's certain scenes that I will, I will do that. I will go to the director and I will say, I'm gonna do this three different ways for you. You'll be glad later. You might not wanna take the time now, but trust me, you'll be glad later. And so I, I will do that occasionally with the scenes that I, I just have a sense are gonna be important later on. That's cool. <laughs> um, sir. Uh, yes, were there any scenes that you were particularly disappointed that you had to cut for whatever reason? That I had to cut? Yes. Any things that didn't make it? Um, yeah, there's always probably something, but uh, the scene that we cut uh, quite late um, 
was interesting, but it did uh, it interfered with the flow, the story, um, which was in a state of flux. We had uh, four uh, powerful characters, and it was quite a balancing act, uh, keeping keeping the keeping that that uh, the weighing scales right on on on, on emotionally on, on all of that. And this one seemed to get in the way, so we took it out. Um, probably the only scenes that we did take out were ones that interfered with that balance, just took a slightly in a different direction. But um, uh, we, we didn't shoot an awful lot. We shot on 20, uh, 25 days, and the, uh, pretty much everything's in the film. Wow. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> 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 we have been to 
the, the Grotto, uh, we built in our more studios just outside Dublin. Movie magic. And uh, it was visual effects um, as well, some visual effects as well. Because I was wondering how you it was last summer. Yeah, okay, it was last summer. Rest of it was last summer. One or two more. Go ahead, sir. Uh, I'd love to know. Um, I'm, I'm curious if it was difficult for you or if you had used, uh, basically, how did you go about filming in Dublin? But setting this period piece and kind of adapting the set to 1967, avoiding the period piece. The period piece. Uh, uh, what was the question, sorry? Uh, that, uh, uh, working on a period piece, how was it? What did you mean? Were you in Dublin? Uh, well, it's a, it's, a, it's a period I know very well, um, unfortunately. Uh, and, an, and, a, and an area I know very well. Um, and uh, the production designer and his team also uh, were very familiar with the, very familiar with the, the textures and the colours. And um, we wanted it to be both uh, naturalistic but also colourful. And um, we have a costume designer here as well. Thank you guys somewhere. Came up to me one day waving pictures and saying, You wouldn't believe there was so much colour uh, in those days. But it, it's 67 was, 66, 67 was the year I, le I left uh, Dublin. I went to live in, in, in uh, let's call it, let's call it Illurid. <laughs> <laughs> I went to live in London. Uh, and uh, I, so, I sort of froze, uh, I had this frozen image of I suppose of Dublin in some ways. And uh, was sort of bringing that back to life. But, uh, but really it was uh, John Hands and uh, Julia, the, and the designer, and John Conroy. Uh, who just brought so much, uh, well, they know it very well. John Conroy's uh, father did my first film. Uh, and so that was nice to have uh, uh, John go around boss bossing me just like his dad used to. Um, so there was a sense that we all, we all knew what we were doing pretty much. And it was, it was, uh, 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 they were very clever with, we did a lot of stuff on a soundstage. All the, the inside of all the houses were, in, were on a soundstage. And they were able to repurpose one of them. My, my mother's house was also Eileen's house. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So there were clever ways in which mm -hmm. we're doing it. And, and John, our amazing DP, was able to shoot it in ways that would make it look like a completely different place. Let's give a big hand for the cast. <laughs> <laughs>